programme and we're now in the east end of the United Stadium and we're actually in our disabled supporters section. If you have a look where you are and where I am, you can see a big gap in two seats. The big gap's for a wheelchair, the seat is for a carer. There are 104 of those along this section here. Another eight up in the top corner there where the pipes are, the windows either side, and the same in the other corner over there. So 120 of our disabled supporters can come here and watch Manchester United, and they come for free. Providing the members of the Manchester United Disabled Supporters Association they get an allocation of tickets to each game, they have a ballot, and the lucky 120 people, plus the carers, can come here and watch Manchester United absolutely free. We're the first team to offer the facility, other teams are now following suit because they realise what a great idea it is. The five rows of seats behind me here, the back two rows of seats in this section here, have got plugs in the wall for headphones, and therefore are blind and visually impaired supporters. They still like to get the atmosphere of the game, so they will come, sit down here, plug headphones in and listen to a commentary of the match. Although one or two of them have been known to jump up and start shouting for offsides. <laughs> Anybody here heard of MUTV? Yes. Manchester United were the first club in this country to have their own dedicated TV channel, MUTV. Again, MUTV. other teams followed suit. Chelsea have got Chelsea TV. Up in Scotland there, Glasgow Celtic have got Rangers TV. The silver windows behind you, the MUTV studio, and it broadcasts to 42 countries worldwide. Oh, Up see. over here, we've got the stadium control room. We have 130 closed circuit TV cameras inside, just outside, and within a mile radius of the stadium. They're working 24 7, and they're actually watching us now as we go out on that tour. Underneath the stand here, there's a 55,000 gallon water tank. As you're probably aware, here in Manchester, we don't have a lot of rain. Believe that. So any rain we do get, we need to recycle. So the water is collected in the water tank, and then it is recycled and used on the sprinkler system on the pitch. Underneath the pitch, about 10 inches below the surface, there's an 18.4 mile network of plastic pipes. What we do in winter is we heat the water up in the water tank, pump it through the 18.4 mile network of pipes underneath the pitch and that becomes our under soil heating. It stops the games being called off if it's been frosty or if it's been snowing. Okay. okay. Anybody got any questions while we're here? No? No. no. Okay, come on let's move on. Thank you. 